Hi everybody, Rob here again at Power Learning Solutions. Recently, I posted a video on user interface, user experience, and accessibility in instructional design for online courses. And in that video, I used the developer tools features in Microsoft Chrome to demonstrate how I test some of my course pages and some of my other websites to make sure that they display properly in different orientations and to see whether or not things like tables or images or anything that I have on my pages are going to display properly based on the size and the orientation of your student's screens. Well, I've had an inquiry from one of my instructional design students wondering just how to access and use those tools. So I figured the best way to field that question would be to show rather than to tell, hence this video. So I've got the same course page open here now that I used to do my demonstration in that UI, UX and accessibility video. And I'm going to walk through the steps of how to get to those developer tools and switch between different views to see how your page displays. So the first thing that uh, you need to do once your page is open in the Chrome browser is look for the ellipses, the three dots up here in the corner and scroll on down to more tools under that you will see developer tools click on your developer tools it's going to open up a split screen where you can view your screen in a particular orientation in this case it's remembering my previous orientation from that previous video which was uh, a samsung galaxy uh, style uh, of a uh, cell phone and you can see over here the background code so you can click on any particular element and it's going to highlight that background code for you and help you troubleshoot that particular background code so uh, i'm going to skip uh, looking at the code for now that's a little bit advanced if you know html code this is a good place where you can look and see if there's alt text on images or things like that if not you can just use the features in here to look at different size screens so if I click on responsive, it's going to show me the standard screen and in uh, any size of monitor that you have. You can drag to different sizes and see how your responsive design is going to reflow. Or from up here, you can pick any dimensions you want. They have different iPhone sizes. They have different Galaxy sizes. Uh, or you can edit this and you can add your own custom ones. So again, if I want to see how this uh, shows on a Galaxy, uh, Samsung Galaxy A51 or 71, I can click on this and I can see that my table is not reflowing properly. It's going off the left side of the screen. Or I can switch to an iPhone 12 Pro. And again, I'm seeing the same thing here that my table is flowing off the side of the screen. So I know that I need to go back into my course editor and I need to change some things to make sure that my text doesn't flow off the side of the screen and doesn't force my students to scroll left or right. Best way to do that, by the way, is to avoid using tables unless you're presenting statistical data.